What's going on everybody? In front of me I have the OBD11 Pro Pack. So what is this? This is a diagnostic tool used on certain vehicles. We'll go over that in a second. Um, where you plug it in, you download the app, and it allows you to see some of the things that's wrong with your vehicle, or you can do some changes with the computer, and we'll get into what all it can do on the app in a little bit. Uh, first, let's go over the looks. So I realize that before they had one that was like kind of black and white, only worked with Android devices. This one works iOS and Android, which is great because I have an iPhone. But this one, slick black, great design. It's got this little keychain thing. I'm never going to carry this on my keys, but I guess it's a cool thing if you want to do that. Um, it's also got this little light bar. Uh, as you plug it in, uh, I think the first time you plug it in, it'll be red, but you can, I mean, it changes colors. You can do whatever you want with that. Um, this tool is run so this is the pro pack again. This tool is running you about 150. So these these range anywhere from 100 bucks to 230 dollars. Uh, that most expensive one is the uh, the ultimate pack. And w which one you get just pretty much depends on how self sufficient you want to be with taking care of your own car. So I just I like to kind of have hands on, knowing what exactly like my car is going through before I take it in. Because I mean it's an Audi and I'm definitely not rich or anything, so I can't just afford to keep sending my car to go, hey, you find out what's wrong with it, and then you fix it. I'd like to know what's wrong with it and say, hey, this is what's wrong with it. Do you mind fixing it? I have found that if you're trying to save money and kind of get your feet in the pool of kind of taking care of your own vehicle, if you have like a Volkswagen, Audi, and again, we'll go over you know, the vehicles that it supports, uh, this is a non-negotiable tool to have. Um, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get in the car. All right, now we are in the car. Got the car on, got the OBD11 plugged into the OBD port. And now I'm just going to go ahead and go through the app real quickly. Nothing crazy. All right, so this is my little menu. Click on the OBD11 app. Uh, it's going to tell you first, plug in the device to the vehicle OBD port and press connect. So I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. It's going to show you a list of devices. So you're going to click your device. It's going to ask to put your PIN in. Once you get to this point, you hit tap to scan, and now it's just going to go through every... It's going to go through every little uh, uh, section of your car, just assessing it, make sure there's not any issues, as far as the computer is tracking, obviously. Okay, good timing. So we got two problems found. So you can either clear it, rescan it, go ahead and look at them. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll get to it. So <clears throat> first, I'm gonna hit the profile tab. It's got your name. When you buy this uh, this OBD11, it comes with like a year free subscription to the Pro plan. Gives you a balance of 200 credits. I only used <laughs> a few of them. Because uh, it wasn't really, it's a 2011 Audi S4, so there's not a whole lot you can change about like the computer and the lights and stuff. Um, so I just I changed the blinker, like the uh, daytime running lights don't turn off when you have the blinker on. So there's that. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory vehicle. So you can change, like you can customize the picture that goes behind your vehicle. So I put mine up there. Because I like it. The one that I had before was like just like a regular ugly like white A4. So I changed that. Um, gives you all this info. Then you have access to history, like all the stuff that you've done with your car. You got miles, uh, all the apps and control units. So the control units is where you're gonna go to find what's wrong with your car. Apps. That's where you can go to like change, like all the different displays, lights. If you got power. Um, rear view mirrors you can have them like go in needle aluminum all this stuff you got all kinds of stuff that you can change it's pretty cool but again for my car some of it's just not really that worth it uh, so we go back to vehicle let's hit up control units so you've got all apparently it says my air conditioning is broken it's not I've got it on right now 
Um, but let's go ahead and look at it. Faults. All right, right air flap motor. Right air flap motor for center vents. Okay, okay. I love it. It gives you the date at what miles it became deficient. So it was like 30 miles ago. It was today. So devices. So you can get multiple devices um, if you have multiple you know, cars that it supports. And, you know, speaking of the cars that it supports, the supported vehicles, you got Volkswagen, you got Audi, you got all these different cars you can hook it up to. I'm really just talking to my Volkswagen and Audi people because I don't have enough money for the rest of those. It goes over every vehicle that you know this OBD11 can support. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's about it. It's a pretty cool app. I like it. It's been super helpful. I learned more about the condition of my car than mechanics at a place that will not be named could in three visits doing a full engine diagnostic and everything around the car. If you're looking into buying a Volkswagen or an Audi anytime soon, I would say this is kind of a non-negotiable because if you're anything like me and you can't really afford to continuously just take your car to the shop to figure out what's wrong with it and then pay to have it fixed, you're going to save a lot of money doing this. Uh, I would say spend 100 to $200 to get this thing and put it to work, use it often, you know, do preventative maintenance and checks on your own vehicle. It'll save you loads of money. Alrighty, if you guys enjoyed that video, if it was helpful at all, um, please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe. I'm going to be making all kinds of videos of just me reviewing things. If you're interested in getting one of these uh, OBD11 uh, devices, I'll leave a link in the description below. I'll also leave links for all the equipment that I use uh, to record this video, just in case you, know, you guys liked how it was done or if it was you know, a good enough quality for you. If you want to start making your own content, it'll be in the description below. Uh, thanks, and uh, God bless.